Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to connect to an Excel file that's in an Amazon S3 bucket. All right, so let's get started. I have my instance of the Nodal Professional up and running, and I'm going to connect to the Design Studio, that is the UI interface to the instance that's already running. So let's log in first. I'm connecting to the Design Studio, which is going to be your interface to define connect strings and, and do the modeling and everything else from here on. So I have my default database, the admin database that's already created. And here I'm going to create a new connection string. Uh, you need a couple of things here. First is the the uh, URI of your Excel file, which is in your S3 bucket. So I have an S3 bucket that's already created and I have multiple Excel files in here. So this is the one which has some sample data in it, All right? So let's do a new data source and Excel. I'm going to give it a name as DS test Excel S1. Now, depending on the version of the Excel file, um, mine is a later one, uh, latest one. So I'm going to pick Excel 2000 or later. For the data route, that's the connection mechanism. So you could pick local HTTP client. There's different ways. Uh, the one that we're going to use here is the S3. That is the one you need for your Excel file in the S3 bucket. Once you have that, the next step is to configure the URL to your S3 bucket. So as I was saying here, you click on this, copy this URL, and then I'm going to paste it here. And for the authentication, you're going to use your IAM credentials. You would need the access key ID and the secret access password. All right. Uh, I have them in a sample file here, which uh, I'm going to quickly choose and put them here. Okay. All right, so that's all you need for configuring the connection to your Excel file. You can test the connection and that's successful. So next step is to save the connection. All right, so I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna save the connection. So you can see here on the left-hand side, the connection DS test XLS1 is now already there. Uh, the next step you would do is to create a base view out of this pointing to the data in this Excel file. So you can go ahead and click create base view and it automatically creates the view uh, which is listed here again. You can see how the icons look different. This is the connection data source. This is your Excel data. Now I can go ahead and rename this to name that uh, as a base view or you know whatever you want to call it so that it's differentiated and let's run a quick execute of what's in my excel file so here you can see there's a sample store data revenue month you know a sample data file for excel all right so with that you can connect to other excel files and and you know join use that in your other uh, integration of your data with the other data sources. With that, thank you for watching and see you next time.